here's the thing we've been talking about for a while. Why can't we? I don't know. We can't help I don't know. ourselves. We can't stop. Okay, for, for like decades though. Okay, we've been talking about this, but now we have a first look at the potential I-75 companion bridge, the whole Brent Spence project. That's right. right. The three point six billion dollar project will be built next to the existing Brent Spence Bridge. This is animated flyover video from the city of Cincinnati. It's fully funded with no tolls. The goal is to improve the flow of traffic by reducing congestion and separating local traffic from the National Transportation Corridor. And I was just looking up the, <laughs> the quote unquote start dates, even though the project is, you know, kind of in play already as far as they're doing the right. work planning and Prep that type work of thing. And whatever, yeah, and yeah. There may be some work this year that happens like on both sides, but it looks like the big stuff starts to happen next spring. And the nice thing is if I'm sure people schedule. react so well to all the changes. Oh, people love change. Because we, we love change around here. It is interesting though when we mention how long this has been in the works, because I can remember, it reminds me, obviously a totally different kind of project, but it reminds me of the banks the Banks mm -hmm. Project. I can remember them talking about the Banks Project, going back to when I was like in my early 20s, maybe even my late yeah. teens, and it just seemed like it took forever. And now that it got here, it's great. It's great. The Banks is great. Everything down there, Smell Park, the whole thing. But the Brent Spence Companion Project feels like it's been that kind of thing, <sighs> where you're just sort of waiting and waiting. Are we finally going to go? And it looks like we're going to go. We're going to go. And then it's going to take a long time to finish it. Yes. So yes. it's going to be so going for a while. It, we'll be busy talking about it during the <laughs> whole process. Probably probably by the time we retire. Oh, gosh, don't say that. that or broadcast that television ceases to exist. <laughs> no, it won't be done by then. <laughs> Kidding. Jokes. Hey, good news. We, we are getting a new bridge, but bad news. The animation popped up again. It's okay. <laughs> I kid. A neighborhood pool is being removed to make room for yeah. that bridge, right? So Global Pool opened back in 1982. Not only is it not opening this year, it's gonna be torn out completely. And that's to make way for the Brent Spence Quarter Project. We just showed you that. Now it will be within 30 feet or so of the current pool location. The project is expected to run that way. Local 12 went to Covington's Parks and Recreation Manager to find out a plan for our replacement pool or possible splash pad. We'll look towards either the south side of the park or to the north side of the park. Um, this, unfortunately, is the skinniest part of our park, and that's going to be the most affected. Um, so we will look to build something probably towards the south or north end. City leaders must now wait until the Brent Spence Corridor project design is finalized before they can start planning anything here. That means a replacement water feature, a pool, a splash pad, whatever it's going to be, years away at a minimum. And you really think about that entire area where things are going to be affected on both sides of the uh, river. Yeah. Whatever plans you had, you got to tap, tap, tap those brakes because there's no sense starting anything because you just don't know what's going to end up being here in the next few years, We've right? We've done a couple different stories now. I can't remember what rest, there was a restaurant or bar or something that's having to close its doors because the path of the new it's gonna come through. you know, it's not exactly just the bridge, but it's the path leading up to it is going to take a route right through where and that place was. So they did on ramps and domain off ramps and, 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 and all, the, so all of the things. So it there's a lot that's going to change, not just a bridge, but all on both sides of the river. A lot going on. Lot going on. Um, you know, if you can believe it, I can't. Can you believe it? Memorial Day no, I cannot weekend believe that. is like two weeks away, and that means the return of the popular taste of Cincinnati. That just blows my mind. It's that close. But starting today, restaurants, food trucks, and startups will put their dishes up for the best of taste prize. Judges will sample and rate the eats from the restaurants today and food trucks tomorrow. And then you'll have the chance to buy food from vendors. That area will open to the public tomorrow at 1130 at the Court Street Plaza downtown. The Taste of mm. Cincinnati is back with a record number of vendors two weeks from Saturday. It makes me hungry just watching that video. I was going to say, video. seeing that kind stuff. of food makes me make noises, like good, positive, right. grunting, I'd like to eat like, noises. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, like, like that. That's mm -hmm. a, I consider mm -hmm. that a positive grunt noise. Mm -hmm. It is such a party, though, down there. I have never gone down for the like tasting before they announced mm -hmm. the best dessert and right, best right. appetizer, whatever. And I would like to. I would like to. Just so um, much, so much food, so much little time. Um, I'm, I'm very, okay? I'm very excited about this next thing. Oh, okay. okay. I just need you to just, just deal with my excitement. You know, you're excited about the about Met. fashion. I'm. I'm. I'm excited about this fashion. Well, I was going to say That's it's the still fashion. fashion, right? That's the fashion. Okay. Yes. So, Cincinnati, yay world. Here, is your Superman. Mm -hmm. Yes, James Gunn has revealed the first photos of David Corn Sweat in costume on the set 
of the upcoming Superman film. Cool. Just got to get those boots on and go to work, you know what I mean? So, according to state filings, parts of this movie will be filming in both Cincinnati and Cleveland. And there are reports that could happen in mid to late July. Well, you have to wait a bit. Fans will get to see the latest Man of Steel in action when the movie hits theaters in 2025. Looks cool. It does look. It does look cool. I am so. I'm. I'm almost giddy when I think about them shooting parts of that movie uh -huh. here. And I, I don't know. Who knows how many extras they'll need, or you know, even you know, actors in smaller parts. You know, for for different things in the film, what may or may not end up being the background for some shots. Anytime anything superhero related on the DC side is anywhere near here, I'm like, Union Terminal is right. The Hall of Justice is right here it's you don't have to build it you don't have to you don't have to green screen it you don't have to cgi it it's right here please 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 use it we will please see. we will see see how excited i get uh, you're very excited he looks so cool doesn't he look this real work a day lunch pail kind of guy yeah. like out here some man's gonna get my bag like he's been out in the dust a little he bit does. He's doing his work he's been in a fight yeah. you know gotta get his boots back he's on ready to go back in gotta get back in the ring <laughs> that's right that'll be so cool we'll stay on top of that Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more, so click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe, that way you'll catch more content from Local 12.